Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the top 15 most overpriced vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, so the only thing we're gonna be looking at today is price based off of what you're getting for the vehicle. We're not looking at any other features or anything like that. Let's start on the Elitist Travel website, and that's where we're gonna find our first two vehicles. I'm gonna consider these a pair though, with the Luxor Deluxe and the Swift Deluxe. The Luxor Deluxe is a $10 million golden jet. And the Swift Deluxe is a $5,150,000 helicopter. Needless to say, they're not worth it. They're literally just the same as their regular counterparts, just painted gold with the ability to browse the internet on the inside, drink champagne, and smoke cigars. If you feel like that price is worth $10 million, be my guest, but I don't think so at all making them one of the most overpriced vehicles we have in the game. Staying on the Elitist website, we have the Titan. Now the Titan is only $2 million, which is not crazy by aircraft standards, but the fact that you can find this vehicle literally scattered everywhere in the world for free, to me is a clear indication that this is way overpriced. Just go down to the Los Santos International Airport, stroll into one of the hangars, and you'll see one of these Titans parked in there. Honestly, you don't even have to worry about it. This thing is so expensive for something that you can just go to the airport and get for free. So don't buy a Titan. Speaking of vehicles that are free in the world and that you shouldn't buy, the next vehicle on our list today is the Dump. So the Dump is only $1 million, but if you want to light $1 million on fire, buy this vehicle. The Dump can be found at the Los Santos Mining Quarry, kind of near Trevor's Airport. So if you really, really, really want one of these vehicles, just save yourself a million dollars and go up there and get one. Yes, they're fun, but are they a million dollars fun? I don't think the answer is yes. You can do a lot with a million dollars and spending it on a big dump truck is probably something I wouldn't do. Okay, moving on to the legendary motorsports site, our first vehicle today, the Grotti X80 Proto, the most expensive vehicle on this site, the most expensive supercar in the game that doesn't have a rocket attached to it, and $2.7 million is a lot especially with for what you're getting with this vehicle. Now, I know it's a Ferrari prototype and all that, um, but it performs not all that great for $2.7 million. Does it perform pretty good? Yes, but there's way better vehicles that you can get for a whole lot cheaper than $2.7 million. And by the time you're done customizing it, you know, that's $3 million, $3.1 million. Needless to say, this vehicle is not worth the incredibly exorbitant price that Rockstar ended up giving it. Moving back to the Elitist website, we have the Annihilator. So this helicopter can seat six people, which is nice, but its price is $1.825 million, which makes it more expensive than the Buzzard and more expensive than a lot of other weaponized helicopters in the game. So needless to say, with the performance of the Annihilator, uh, the way it only has the chain guns on there, it isn't worth it at all. And just like the Titan, and just like some of the other vehicles we've been looking at, you can find annihilators like scattered around the airport. Like you see where this photo is taken right here? Yeah, this is on like the Los Santos airport tarmac. That's because they spawn there. So don't waste $1.8 million. Go to the airport if you really, really want these vehicles and they'll honestly just spawn there and you can use them if you want. Back to the legendary motorsports site, we have the Ocelot Lynx. So you can see this vehicle is literally surrounded by supercars, yet this one is the only sports car. For whatever reason, Rockstar decided that this awful sports car would be $1.735 million, and I'm not sure why. This is one of the worst performing sports cars in the game. It's beautiful. I think it's based off of the uh, Jaguar F-Type, but it's just such an poorly performing vehicle and 1.7 million dollars to spend on something like that absolutely not worth it i think if rockstar could have a do over here they would definitely make this a whole lot less expensive because it is completely worthless at that price for what you're getting performance wise this next vehicle might be the champion of today that is the p996 laser this jet is $6.5 million. No, you are not reading that wrong. $6.5 million for a jet that's been in the game since day one. And the sad part about this is if you really, really want this jet, all you have to do is go to Fort Zancudo, hop the fence, or if you own a hangar, you can get in for free and just steal one of the fighter jets. Literally save yourself $6.5 million just by going to Fort Zancudo. I'm not sure why Rockstar ended up making it this price, but they did, 
and it is one of the most expensive vehicles in the game. I might get some pushback for this one, but the Ruiner 2000. So the price you see right here is the SecuroSurf trade price, $4.32 million. I think the regular one is like $5.7 million, so it's even more expensive than this. This vehicle has been put out of business by some of the other ones that have been recently released. Uh, for example, the Vigilante, which is even cheaper than that. Uh, this vehicle just doesn't compete with a lot of the other weaponized cars like it used to. Back in 2016, when Rockstar introduced this, this was very revolutionary. Now, not so much. In fact, many of its features would be considered obsolete to some of the other cars we have in the game. So Ruiner 2000, way overpriced now. Even with the trade price, it's still really, really expensive. So I would say skip this vehicle. Don't end up buying it. Up next, we've got the RCV. This came in the Doomsday Heist, and I am incredibly disappointed by this. The price is $2.35 million, and you're getting absolutely nothing for this vehicle. I mean, there literally isn't a single thing this thing does. It has a little fire hydrant on top. It has like a mini uh, ram on the front. It's not weaponized. It's not armored in any way. Uh, this thing just doesn't do anything for me. And to spend $2.35 million on that, in my opinion, would be a huge mistake. So do not buy this vehicle at all. The RCV is one of the most overpriced for what it actually does. Sticking with the Doomsday Heist, we have the Volatile. Now, I was pretty excited when this vehicle was teased, but this is one of the slowest, bulkiest, non-maneuverable jets we have in the game. And $2.8 million on something that almost every other vehicle does better, in my opinion, is just not worth it at all. It's not the best bomber in the game. It's not the quickest. It's not the most nimble or anything like that. The Volatile is just a huge waste of money, especially when you consider where it's priced around, like the Akula and the Oppressor and stuff like that. Again, way overpriced for what you're actually getting for this vehicle. Our first Doc Tease vehicle today, and I'm sure many of you guys expected me to say the Tug, but no, it's the Lampadati Toro. What makes the Toro so special that it has to be $1.75 million when you compare it to something like the Speeder or the Jet Max or the Squalo uh, or the Tropic that you know is $325,000, $299,000? Why does this have to be nearly $2 million just because it has like Lampadati in front of it or something like that. I don't know. It just seems way too expensive for me. I'm really not too sure why Rockstar severely overpriced this boat. This came out, I think, over three years ago, maybe almost three years ago, and it's still the most expensive boat, which is pretty crazy. Vehicle number 12 today, the Bumbushka. So the Bumbushka is just a little bit better than the Titan. It has some weaponized features. You can carry a couple people in the back. But for $5.9 million or $4.4 million to me, that just is not worth it at all. This vehicle is incredibly slow, which is by far its biggest downside. Even though it can absorb a couple bullets and explosive sniper rifle rounds, the fact that it you know, is so slow, someone can easily get two or three shots in a row on you. So this vehicle, not worth it at all. Way too expensive for what you actually get. It should have been the air MOC of the sky which we know the Avenger eventually became. So again, this vehicle is kind of obsolete. The number 13 spot today, we've got the Armored Boxville. You're literally paying $2.2 million for a van that can't survive an RPG. It can't survive a sticky bomb. Its wheels can be shot out, making the thing absolutely worthless. It has like a mini wedge on the front, but it doesn't do anything. It has a machine gun on top that's really hard to use. So this vehicle, not worth it at all. And once again, that's the trade price. The regular price for this is even more expensive. So skip out on the Armored Boxville. Definitely not worth it. One of the most overpriced vehicles we have in the game. Our first and only Southern San Andreas Super Autos vehicle today, and that is the MTL Dune. So this vehicle is added in cunning stunts, and honestly, what does it even do? I'm not even too sure. It's just a big box truck that has two different liveries on there. And why do the liveries cost different? Like, honestly, what's the point of having different prices for these liveries? I'm really not too sure. But this vehicle is 1.3 or $1.385 million, and I don't really get it. You know, what the heck does this thing do other than just be a giant big racing truck that you can't even use in races? Seriously, skip out on the MTL Dune. All right, and our final vehicle today, number 15, the Cargo Bob Jet Sam. Why is the Jet Sam Cargo Bob $200,000 more expensive than the regular Cargo Bob? It's just a paint job. It does nothing different, yet you're paying more money. And same with the Titan, same with some of the other vehicles we looked at, like the Dump. 
Cargo bobs spawn everywhere on the map, so why even buy one? It actually is one of the most useful vehicles in the game, but a couple other things. Rockstar gave these away for free like a couple months ago, and don't buy the Jetsam one. Like, why? Why pay more money for the exact same vehicle? I don't get it. But anyways, that right there is the top 15 most overpriced vehicles, in my opinion, in Grand Theft Auto Online, and ones that I think you should stay away from unless you feel like you absolutely need them. There are better alternatives for almost all the vehicles I listed in that video, so don't waste your money on those. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think are some of the most overpriced vehicles in GTA Online. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.